Lunchtime, First Chronicles 21. And Satan stood up against Yisrael and moved David to number Yisrael. And David said to Joab and to the rulers of the people, Go number Yisrael from Be'er Sheba to Dan, and bring the number of them to me so that I know it. And Joab answered, Jehovah does add to his people a hundred times more than they are. But my master, the sovereign, are they not all my master's servants? Why does my master seek to do this? Why should he be a cause of guilt in Israel? And the sovereign's word was strong against Joab. And Joab left and went throughout Israel and came to Jerusalem. And Joab gave the sum of the number of the people to David. And all Yisrael had one million, one hundred thousand men who drew the sword. And Yehuda had four hundred and seventy thousand men who drew the sword. But he did not number Levi and Binyamin among them, for the sovereign's word was loathsome to Joab. And it was evil in the eyes of Elohim concerning this matter, and he struck Yisrael. Then David said to Elohim, I have sinned greatly because I have done this matter. But now I pray, take away the crookedness of your servant, for I have done very foolishly. And Jehovah spoke to Gad, David's seer, saying, Go, and you shall speak to David, saying, Thus said Jehovah, I hold three options before you. Choose one of them for yourself, and I do it to you. So Gad came to David and said to him, Thus said Jehovah, Choose for yourself. Either three years of scarcity of food, or three new moons to be defeated by your foes with the sword of your enemies overtaking you, or else for three days the sword of Jehovah even the plague in the land, with the messenger of Jehovah destroying throughout all the borders of Israel. And now consider what answer I am to return to him who sent me. And David said to Gad, I am in great trouble. Lest please let me fall into the hand of Jehovah, for his compassion is very great. But do not let me fall into the hand of man. And Jehovah sent a plague upon Yisrael, and seventy thousand men of Yisrael fell. And Elohim sent a messenger to Jerusalem to destroy it. And as he was destroying, Jehovah saw and relented about the evil, and said to the messenger who was destroying, Enough, now stop your hand. And the messenger of Jehovah was standing by the threshing floor, of Ornan the Yebusite. And David lifted his eyes and saw the messenger of Jehovah standing between the earth and the heavens, having in his hand a drawn sword stretched out over Yerushalayim. And David and the elders wrapped in sackcloth fell on their faces. And David said to Elohim, Was it not I who commanded the people to be numbered? I am the one who has sinned and done evil indeed. But these, the sheep, what have they done? Let your hand, I pray, O Jehovah, my Elohim, be against me and my father's house, but not against your people to be plagued. And the messenger of Jehovah commanded Gad to say to David that David should go up to raise a slaughter place to Jehovah on the threshing floor of Ornan the Yebusite. So David went up at the word of Gad, which he had spoken in the name of Jehovah. And Ornan turned and saw the messenger, and his four sons with him hid themselves, and Ornan was threshing wheat. And David came to Ornan, and Ornan looked and saw David. And he went out from the threshing floor and bowed down to David with his face to the ground. And David said to Ornan, 
Give me the site of the threshing floor, so that I build a slaughter place to Jehovah on it. Give it to me at the complete price, so that the plague is restrained from the people. And Ornan said to David, Take it for yourself, and let my master, the sovereign, do what is good in his eyes. See, I shall give you the cattle for ascending offerings, the threshing implements for wood, and the wheat for the grain offering. I give it all. And sovereign David said to Ornan, No, but I shall certainly buy it at the complete price, for I do not take what is yours for Jehovah, nor offer an ascending offering without cost. And David gave Ornan six hundred shekels of gold by weight for the place. And David built there a slaughter place to Jehovah, and offered ascending offerings and peace offerings, and called on Jehovah, and he answered him from the heavens by fire on the slaughter place of ascending offering. Then Jehovah commanded the messenger, and he returned his sword to his sheath. At that time, when David saw that Jehovah had answered him on the threshing floor of Ornan the Yebusite, he slaughtered there. For the dwelling place of Jehovah and the slaughter place of the ascending offering, which Moshe had made in the wilderness, were at that time at the high place in Gibbon. But David was unable to go before it to inquire of Elohim, for he was afraid of the sword of the messenger. David then said, This is the house of Jehovah, Elohim, and this is the slaughter place of ascending offering for Yisrael. And David commanded to gather the foreigners who were in the land of Yisrael, and he appointed stonemasons to cut hewn stone to build the house of Elohim. And David prepared large quantities of iron for the nails of the doors of the gates and for the clamps, and more bronze than could be weighed, and cedar trees beyond number for the Sidonians, and those from Sor brought much cedar wood to David. And David said, Shalomo, my son, is young and tender, and the house that is to be built for Jehovah is to be exceedingly great for a splendid name to all the lands. Please let me make preparation for it. So David made extensive preparations for his death. He also called for his son Shalomo and commanded him to build a house for Jehovah Elohim of Israel. And David said to Shalomo, My son, as for me, it has been in my heart to build a house to the name of Jehovah my Elohim. But the word of Jehovah came to me, saying, You have shed much blood and have fought great battles. You do not build a house for my name. Because you have shed much blood on the earth in my presence. See, a son is to be born to you who is a man of rest. And I shall give him rest from all his enemies all around. For Shalomo is his name, and peace and rest I give to Yisrael in his days. He does build a house for my name. And he is to be my son, and I am to be his father. And I shall establish the throne of his reign over Yisrael forever. Now, my son, Jehovah be with you. Then you shall prosper and build the house of Jehovah your Elohim, as he has said to you. Only let Jehovah give you wisdom and understanding, and command you concerning Israel, so that you guard the Torah of Jehovah your Elohim. Then you shall prosper, if you guard to do the laws and right rulings with which Jehovah commanded. Moshe concerning Israel, be strong and brave, do not fear nor be discouraged. See in my affliction I have prepared for the house of Jehovah one hundred thousand talents of gold, and one million talents of silver, and bronze, and iron, beyond measure, for it is plenty. I have prepared timber and stone, and you shall add to them. 
And with you there are many workmen, hewers and workers of stone and timber and all types of skilled men for every kind of work. Of gold and silver and bronze and iron there is no limit. Rise up and do, and Jehovah is with you. And David commanded all the rulers of Israel to help Shalomo his son, saying, Is not Jehovah your Elohim with you? And has he not given you rest all around? For he has given the inhabitants of the land into my hand, and the land has been subdued before Jehovah and before his people. Now give your heart and your being to seek Jehovah your Elohim, and rise up and build the set-apart place of Jehovah, Elohim, to bring the Ark of the Covenant of Jehovah and the set-apart vessels of Elohim into the house that is to be built for the name of Jehovah.